Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review video, but it's Christmas books. I have three books that are kind of like, um, three separate little stories in one, and then I have just three regular books. So I'm going to get right into this one. Now, these ones are... Let me just say that with these books, I mean, they are, I think they're by the Harlequin Company, these books. Maybe not, but, um, these ones were written, like, in the 90s. And I don't know if it was, like, a thing in the 90s where the whole trope was to be a young woman and marry some older guy. Or maybe that was, like, the trope that people liked to read back in the 90s. I don't know, but each... That trope, it's like, I don't, like, for me, I don't really like that trope of a younger woman with an older guy. I don't know why. I don't, I, it's not like it bothers me, but it's just like, come on, like, you couldn't have found a guy your own age. You have to go after, like, these rich guys, basically, because I think all three of them were rich guys. Um, this is called Christmas Propos Proposals. It's by Carol Murnamore, Murnamore Rebecca Winters, and Marion Lennox. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Basically, it's these women who, um, work for a company. They, it's like before Christmas. And the thing I hate about certain Christmas books is, is there's like one chapter where it's Christmas. And then after that, it's over. Like the whole book isn't centered around Christmas. It's not centered around the Christmas season, the holiday season. It's just, oh, it's Christmas, and now it's not in the next chapter. You know, that kind of thing. Um, the first book was, the first story was about this woman who worked in this kind of like big department store, kind of like, um, that has like everything in it. Kind of like, I guess, how like Sears used to be, if anybody remembers that. And she gets trapped in an elevator with the guy who owns this building. You know, he's like the, you know, the old rich guy or whatever. Um, That one was okay, but it was just weird how it was so fast-paced. It was within a day, they were engaged. That was just kind of weird to me that within a day of getting trapped in an elevator with somebody that next day they got engaged, which was weird. It was just too fast-paced. I was just like, that's not realistic to me. Um, the next book is about a woman who she ends up somehow, again, it's about another girl who's trapped in an elevator. She works in this, I don't know what kind of place it is, but she ends up kissing her boss at this party and then somehow they magically end up together for Christmas. I forget if, um, I don't remember if this is the one where she stays at his place. I don't remember. Maybe that was the first one. I can't remember. And the last book was a guy who, he's rich, obviously, and he's in Australia. And his thing is, is he's kind of like the head honcho when it comes to, like, planning weddings and there's this like little shop in Australia that people love to go to and he wants to overtake it and do things his way instead of the way that people loved um his the girl's version to do things but in that book too I think it was like they got married it was they had to do this like big celebrity wedding and the girl didn't want to go through with it. And then somehow they got married in it, which was weird. I That book was just weird for some reason. I mean, the stories, and I think the stories were, was this the one that had the long, no, this is, these stories were like shorter. I think this one, let me see. One of these had like long, long stories in it. You know, it wasn't this one, so it must have been the other one. Okay, this one is... A Stocking Full of Joy. It's by Jill Barnett, Mary Jo Putney, Justine Dare, and Susan King. This is what it looks like. Um, this book is about... This one was the last of, like, the three-in-one books that I read. This one was... It went in, like, chronological order. It, the first story took place, like, in Scotland. Let me see... 
where... Yeah, this one took place in Scotland. It was 1573. It was about this woman who... Um, sh her uncle overtook, um, her castle after, I guess, her mom and dad died, and they won't let her back into, like, the clan or whatever until she marries whoever he wants her to, or she has to marry him, and she goes to get help from this rival clan that, um, her family didn't like, and they say no, and one of the guys from this clan comes to help her out for a while because she's living in the woods. She doesn't want to go back to this castle or this lock or whatever she lives in. And they find she, he finds out that she's taking care of her, like, I think it was like three or four nieces and nephews, something like that. And so he's trying to figure out a plan where he they can go back to the castle without trying to cause any disturbance, I guess. The next one, was, which was kind of weird, it was a weird book. Um, this is like, it's in England, it's, was to, it's in England, it takes place in 1818. And this book, this story was about a woman who, it was a weird, I don't, I remember a story or a movie that was like this. I can't remember what, though. It was about this woman who, she's down on her luck, she doesn't have a man, she doesn't have money, she doesn't come from money, nothing like that, and for some reason, um, she goes, well, she goes to this church, and there's this, um, coffin there, and this guy didn't have any relatives, nobody was there for his funeral, and she signs the guest book, and she prays for him, and she leaves. And the next day, this guy come or this guy finds her and tells her, "Hey, like you were the only person there." And in his will, it was whoever signs the guest book and prays for him will get his like small fortune that he had. And with that small fortune, she ends up, or no, it's not that. It's like she comes from money or something like that. But I don't know why she can't have it. I don't know. But anyway, she gets this small fortune, and she decides she's going to use it to buy a husband. And she buys this husband who is, like, this guy's related to her some way. They're from the same family. And he's kind of like a ladies' man kind of guy. He squandered all of his family's fortune. She doesn't really have anything. And his idea was, well, I'll marry her. I'll take her money. And I can pay off whatever I have to pay off, and then uh, I'll be good again, you know? Like, I'll be rich again, and blah, 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 I don't care about her. But when they go to this Christmas thing at her, I don't know what it was, like her aunt or great aunt or great, I don't remember. Um, they end up finding common ground and start to really like each other. The next one is, the la the next book in this series, or this set, didn't have any chapter marks. It was basically just a whole long story. This one is takes place in the Wyoming Territory in 1878. It's about this man who he's living for some... He's like um, a guy who he's been by himself. He's been like a nomad, I guess you could say, where his parents died. He didn't want to live with his aunt. And he ends up, I forget why he didn't want to live with his aunt, I don't remember. But he decides to leave. He's been by himself since he was, like, a little kid or, like, a teenager, I don't remember. And here he ends up in this uh, woman's barn where her nephew, her little nephew, comes out. And her little nephew tells him that he wants to run away, his aunt doesn't love him um, because she doesn't like children but she's never had children, she's never been married, that kind of thing. Um, she still grieves for her sister that died because they, her uh, brother-in-law and her aunt, or her sister died of something, I don't remember, and he denied, the little boy denies it, he thinks, like, she just told him that, you know. He says, oh, my mother will be back, and it's, he's a cute kid, but it's really sad when he says that, knowing that his parents aren't coming back. Um, and it's about, 
he takes the little boy back. She offers him, like, a shelter because there's a storm coming and all this stuff. And they start to uh, learn stuff about each other. And then the last book is 18... Is, it takes place in 1891. I don't really remember what this book was about. It says it's Boxing Day. I don't remember... <laughs> I don't remember what this one was about. Does it say on here? I don't remember. Um, the last one, I don't remember what happens in it. I just, I just can't remember. It says it takes place in New York City. I don't think it does, though. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, I don't know. I don't remember that one, to be honest. <coughs> So this next one, I think, is the one that had the longest stories in it. Yes, it did. It's called Mistletoe Kisses. It's by Rachel Lee, um, Andrea Edwards, and Kate London. This book was really long. And it's the same thing where it's about these women who are these young women, and they want to be with older guys. And I think the last book, the last book was weird where, she, I think it was the last one. No, I remember one of the books that I read. I don't remember if it was in this set or on one of the other sets. They were terrified because they were older. The woman was older and they didn't know what would come of it if, if she married a younger man. It might have been the last book in this one. But I can't remember. It might have been. Um, the first book was about um, these people that were in I don't know what they they were in a part of like the armed forces. And he, this guy comes to be like the head honcho of the headquarters wherever they were. And she um all these things start happening. It was kind of a good book, a little bit, because it had sort of like a mystery in it where she's trying to figure out what's happening before she leaves um, in the new year to a different um, assignment and stuff. And basically it was the same thing where he's an older guy, she's a younger woman. He doesn't... He She wants to climb... I think it was somewhere she wanted to climb the ranks and all he wanted was a family that he never got to have. The next book was about a man who, he's single, his mother um, sets wants to set him up, match make him with somebody, and he ends up taking this woman from this restaurant, she's like a younger woman, she's in, um, like in her 20s I guess, she's in college, she ends up with this guy who, um, she ends up going to this guy's mother's house where it's in, like, farm country. I, don't, I think, I forget, it's, like, in Nebraska, like, one of the farming states kind of thing. And, uh, she has a son that she had with an older man who just took him because she's, like, he took advantage of her, and she's like, oh, you can't raise him, blah, 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 you know, like, like, putting her down, so she would sign her rights over, so he could have, raise him as his own with his wife, but, um, they find that out later in the book, but basically, they're, she, he's, he's taking her home to Christmas, so he doesn't have to meet this woman that his mother wants to set him up with, he has a son where he lives with his grandmother, because his wife died. I forget what she died of. But she died and he, he's busy with doing whatever he, um, his job. And so his grandmother takes care of him while his dad's away. And then the last one was about this man who he starts a relationship with this woman in a CEO thing. This might have been the one where was it this the one? No, it's called it's it's called the Pendragon Virus and it's basically like this weird book where he's saying like, "Oh, it's the Pendragon Virus, you know, it's making me feel like this cuz that's her 
last name, and I can't get rid of her and blah, 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 that kind of thing. It was just a weird book. Um, like I said, most of these books, like, they take place around Christmas, but they weren't very Christmassy, basically. So, these next stories, I'm just going to try and, like, get uh, wrapped up fast because uh, this video is already really long. This book is self-explanatory. This book is called A, Utah A Yuletide Treasury of Poems, Carols, and Songs. Um, words that celebrate the season. This is what it looks like. It's in different parts, but basically it's kind of like different. It's basically what it says. It's different carols. It's different poems. It's different songs from around the world. Like I think there's like um, an African, I don't know if it was an African-American song or if it was like an African song. I don't remember, but there was um, something, it was something in there that was like that. That was a pretty cool little thing. The one thing I will say is when they got to a song in the book or like a carol, I remember when I would read it in my head, I'm singing it from whoever sang that song, like whoever really sang that song, the original version of that song, which was kind of funny to me. Um, I really liked it. Um, it does come with a little um, inside bookmarker, so you don't have to use another bookmarker. Um, I liked it. I, I mean, it was a good book. I got through it in, like, a day. I think it was, like, a day and a half or something like that. Um, like I said, it's in parts. Um, I don't really think the parts really do anything. I mean, there's a part about, like, Santa. There's a part about the nativity. There's a part about, um, like, New Year's, um, New Year's, New Year's Eve, that kind of stuff. It was really, it was a really good book. This book is self-explanatory, too. It's called Hol uh, Holiday Hacks by Keith Bradford. This is what it looks like. It's basically in different parts. I highlighted some of the tips in here. It took me, like, a day and a half, same as that other book, to read. Um, it's just, it's like, h hacks. It's, like, they're numbered. Um, it tells you, like, stuff you can do for when it snows out, what to do for your kids for Christmas, what kind of, like, things you can use to gift wrap things for Christmas. Basically, anything you want to know to make your holiday or holidays, whichever ones you celebrate, um, better, faster, whatever. Um, yeah, I liked it. It was a cute little book. This one was really good. This one is called Royal Holidays by Jasmine Guillory, and this is the only book that... I read that was just one story in it, I guess, for this um, book review, Christmas book review video. It's about these two women, their mother and daughter. The daughter um, goes to work for the Duchess, who's related to the Queen. And <clears throat> she has, she's kind of like her head stylist because the girl that used to do it, she can't go because she's pregnant with twins. So she offered this girl to go and her mother was kind of hesitant at first to go her mother is like a social worker she works in the hospitals and she has this dilemma where her boss is retiring and her boss wants her to take the job and she's kind of like oh it's gonna be she's not gonna be able to work with um the patients at the hospital anymore basically her her job that she sees it isn't gonna be fun anymore um she's not gonna get to know the people she's working with anymore and basically, she finds this man. He's the queen's secretary. And it's a cute little story. They just start falling in love with each other. At the end of the book, she has to make a decision about, does she want to stay? Does she want to go? Does she want to stay in the job she has? Does she want to become the uh, boss of you know, where she works at, that kind of thing. It was a cute book. I really liked it. The chapters were short in it. They weren't that long. They were, like, standard chapters to me. And I liked it. I thought it was a really good book. Um, It does have Christmas in it. It even has New Year's in it, which I thought was pretty cool. It was a nice book. And it didn't remind me of... Usually when I read books like this, if I read them, I go into thinking, like, okay, they're going to end up being, like, a Hallmark movie. This one really wasn't. It was a nice book. It wasn't like there wasn't any bad tropes in it. It was just a cute little book, and I really enjoyed it. So those were my Christmas book review videos. My Christmas 
book reviews for this month. Hope you guys have some happy holidays, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.